Good evening. My name is Peter Sawicki. I am the director of the Mary Walker Health Department here at SUNY Oswego. We have been fighting a war against drugs for years. This war has taken the lives of wonderful people at rough moments in their life. It is with great sadness that I announce this battle has reached our SUNY Oswego community. This morning, University Police received a call from a student located in Lee Hall. The student indicated that there was an unresponsive male in the bathroom. Upon arriving, University Police found 18-year-old John Doe unresponsive in the bathroom. He was immediately transported to Oswego Hospital, where he was pronounced dead from an opioid overdose. John was a bright student with a great future ahead of him. He was a first semester freshman who was a standout student in the marketing program. John was a member of various campus clubs and a friend to all who needed one. Unfortunately, due to this epidemic that is plaguing America and campuses across the nation, John will no longer have the opportunities. John was a functioning member of SUNY Oswego campus. He was a president of his campus club and volunteered his time on the weekends around the community. Addiction can happen to anyone. Four and five new heroin users started out misusing prescription painkillers. It is estimated that 23% of individuals who use heroin develop opioid addiction. This, these rising numbers are alarming. Here at SUNY Oswego, we are proactively searching for solutions before it can claim the lives of another, another member of the SUNY Oswego family. For students, we urge you to seek counseling at the Mary Walker Health Center to aid you in this difficult time. Our staff has been properly trained to counsel and treat different forms of addiction. The staff members are highly trained and extremely personable. Through the next couple of weeks, we will send out appointment signups for addiction through counseling through email. This is a problem SUNY Oswego is working hard to solve. SUNY Oswego will be holding a candlelight vigil for John in MCC Thursday, January 31st at 9 p.m. for anyone who would like to come and show support for John and his family. Counseling will be available for all students from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Monday through Wednesday at the Auxiliary Services Building. If you are unable to make it at those times or do not feel comfortable meeting in person, please utilize our crisis hotline available at 315-312-2055. We send our deepest, deepest condolences to John's family and will hope for your healing moving forward. John will forever be a part of the Laker family.